what is it that uh, brain science has contributed to the craft of psychotherapy? What, what occurs to you? What are the most important things that you would list? Yeah, where I'd begin is, is to use the analogy that others have used too, uh, around building a bridge. In other words, that's pretty concrete. Um, to build a bridge, if you're an engineer, you don't need to be a quantum physicist. To drive over a bridge, you don't need to be an engineer. Uh -huh. And it has to do with sort of like level of analysis and level of explanation and what's actually useful. So I, I think about times I've had talking with, say, with a mother about school placement for her child or helping people shift the way that they see something or to understand that it's good to be more open to their own experience. I don't really need to take the brain into account at that point. You know, to drive over the bridge, I don't need to take the engineering process into account. The engineer doesn't need to take into account the underlying quantum mechanics. On the other hand, I think that there are, for me, quickly four major benefits from bringing brain science into psychotherapy. And I think Dan has been an exemplar, frankly, uh, and a champion, really, of um, those four benefits. I mean, the first is that it's motivating. When you know it's physical, people are more motivated around it. Um, just knowing that it's physical. And much of psychotherapy, frankly, is about motivation. I think about that classic book from Jerome Frank, uh, Persuasion and Healing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're trying to, you know, the old joke, uh, how many therapists does it take to change a light bulb? Only one, but the light bulb has to want to change, right? How do we help the light bulb want to change? That's uh -huh. absolutely clinically central, and it's rarely taught in grad school. It certainly wasn't taught particularly in my own training in three different grad schools. So if you understand that it's physical, you get more motivated to shift it. You can see the kind of fog falling away from people's eyes when they realize, oh, my brain is changing, often for the worse. 